Hi there, I'm Dr. J, one of the chiropractors from Pure Chiropractic, and I want to welcome you to the first episode of our video series. We're putting this series together to help give you a better understanding of the common conditions that we see in our clinic. Each episode will tackle a different condition, and we're filming these around the healthy, active lifestyle that chiropractic is a big part of. The topic for this video are the top five myths of back pain. Now, back pain will affect the vast majority of us at some point in our lives. Eight out of 10 of us will suffer from this. However, despite it being so common, there's a lot of misconception, some of it harmful. So here we go with the top five myths of back pain. It's genetic. We hear this one all the time. A lot of people will say, I have back pain, but so does my dad. With very rare exception, back conditions are not genetic. However, they are really common. It'd be like you saying, I've got a cavity in my tooth, but my mom has cavities. So don't assume your problem is hereditary. There may be something you can do about it. It's because I'm tall. A lot of people think their problems are down to their height. On its own, being tall will not give you back problems. We see people of all different shapes and sizes in the clinic, tall, short, and in between. Back pain does not discriminate. However, if you are very tall or very short, you may need to pay closer attention to your ergonomics, the way your car seat is set up, the way your desk and your computer are positioned, things like that. If you're not sure how things should be positioned, ask your chiropractor. Put heat on it. Now this is super common and can actually be harmful. A lot of people, when they get a fresh bout of back pain, they'll go to the hot water bottle, they'll go to a hot bath. With fresh back pain, there's usually swelling, inflammation. If you put heat on this, it'll feel great at the moment, but it can actually increase the swelling and make matters worse. Think about it. If you twist and sprain your ankle, what do you do? You get an ice pack on that. Well, the exact same thing with fresh back pain. Get the ice on there, leave a layer of material between the ice pack and your skin, never leave it on for more than 20 minutes. If you have diabetes or circulatory problems, check with a licensed specialist before you use ice. Bed rest is best. Now this is a very out of date and potentially harmful method of treatment. It used to be if you had back pain, you were told two weeks in bed. The truth of the matter is, if you stay that still, you're just prolonging the problems. You know yourself, back pain is generally worse in the morning. So why would you want to stay there? You're better off moving around as much as you're comfortably able, preferably in the direction of your chiropractor. Once you have back pain, there's nothing you can do about it. Now this is perhaps the most serious of myths. So many people never seek out help because they assume that nothing can be done. Under our care, we've had many, many people. Some have been in pain for years. They get out of pain and get back to a normal life. So don't give up on yourself. Rest assured, we never will. So there you go. That's the top five myths of back pain. We hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to check out our website for more great information. The address is at the end of the video. So I'm Dr. J from Pure Chiropractic helping you get back to life.